podcast that I just did, I interviewed an activist in Florida who's been very, very um, active in Tim Canova's campaign. Tim Canova, uh, Florida law professor, challenging Debbie Wasserman Schultz again uh, for the primary there. They were, he filed a lawsuit against Broward County in South Florida because, shocker, thousands of ballots in his 2016 primary race against Debbie Wasserman Schultz were just thrown out, which, guess what? It's illegal. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz, one of the most corrupt officials in the United States, just shockingly, thousands of ballots are thrown out by the supervisor of elections in Broward County, who happens to be a supporter of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. That's not scandalous. That's not our democracy under attack. It's only democracy under attack when President Trump makes a call to uh, Putin and congratulates him on his re-election. Yeah. The re-election was nonsense. It was a sham election, yes. But this is all we talk about all day on corporate media. President Trump called Putin to congratulate him, even though Obama, even though Obama did the same thing. Dave said, Bernie could do it on $27, so could anyone. I agree. If I could do even half of what Bernie did, we will start a media revolution. Patreon.com slash Jordan Chariton reports.